Howdy! Daniel Cluster is here, and today we're going to talk about very special effects. Well, not much of a talking, more of a poking our curious nose in the topic of gaseous combustion. Let's make it not just fun and games, we'll take it kinda scientifically. Propane. Propane. C3H8. It has carbon, it has hydrogen. So the burning takes place only when the oxygen is present. Let's equate the reaction. Actually, it's the ratio one part of propane for five parts of oxygen to make it burn evenly. Momentary. So we should have enough parts of each element for burning. So we burn up that crap, carbon dioxide and water are released, just like in most of combustion reactions. We had lots of comments on the videos about shooting like, you can't get tracer bullets, they are banned, and so on. Sure. It's very hard to get your hands on tracer bullets, so we found a solution. These are flares for a flare gun. Today we're gonna shoot them. Nice! Considering we have inflammable gas in this balloon, I'll have my bats on the flare. It should go through, light up the gas, so I won't have to come close and do it. But if something won't go well, I will still have to come to the torch. Test number one, burning up propane. Well, I managed to shoot it through, not much fun. Okay, one down, let's move on. Acetylene. Well, the idea is the same, the formula is a bit different. C2H2, two parts of acetylene, five parts of oxygen give us four parts of carbon dioxide and two parts of water. Test number two, let's burn up acetylene. So much freaking smoke. Smokey and the bandit. That was fun. Like it better. Petrol. With petrol, it's all the same. Its chemical formula is C6H6. But it's a clean, theoretical chemical formula. You won't find it at any gas station. Plus, the octane number affects at different additives and dopes and other crap. Anyway, we have to equate the reaction to make it work. Something like this. For two parts of petrol, we need 15 parts of oxygen for all that stuff to burn down. Test number three, petrol vapor. Ah, missed it. Ah. Hydrogen. Finally, we're going to burn something not from the organic chemistry, but from inorganics, clean substance. But to burn one part of hydrogen, we have to add one half of oxygen. It seems pretty efficient. Also, the product of combustion in this case is water, no carbon dioxide. So out of that formula, we can figure out that in the potato gun, don't make it out of the PVC tubes it blows up we can use clean hydrogen. There was a problem with CO2 staying in the chamber after every shot, so the second part of some fuel couldn't light up in there. So if we use hydrogen, we'll have just to drain the condensed water left after burning and won't need to ventilate the chamber. Test number four, burning up oxyhydrogen. There should have been number four in there, but we don't have a lot of gas. It's expensive, well, fuck it. Also pretty weak shit. Okay, I got it all, let's go back to the most effective way and make it bigger. We have some acetylene left, let's burn it down and sum it up. Oh, it's hot even out here, holy crap. I dig lots of these black clouds too, nice. Fuck, it's raining ash. And the final chord. Why don't we add some petrol? Always wanted to check if that kind of petrol line burns in real life like in the movies. Now we'll find out. One, two, three.
petrol and acetylene are your bros. It is okay to have a little boner while watching petrol burn, right? I don't think so. Well, that's it. Not too dramatic, but we can learn something. To burn some gas completely, we have to mix it with the proper amount of oxygen, put it in a container and the fuse should be inside. If we fire it up from the outside, the gas will come out due to natural draught pressure while the bag will go. Folding and burn near the hole made by a flare and it will burn with the oxygen delivery. Well, I got it. We have to try a different approach, more effective. Either to put in some kind of a smike puff charge, so it would spread the fire up the gas at the same time, or to deliver the proper mix of gases for them to blow up. Because in the container, the Dean oxygen, the clean oxygen, the highly explosive shit starts just to burn. There is another way, the detonating gas, but we'll get to it later. That's it, Dania Kraster was here, subscribe to our channel and click like if you dig it. Shit, I always forget the fucking bell. I had to tell you about it like long time ago to click on the bell next to subscribe button or subscribe, click to the stupid bell because it's needed for our channel to grow and flourish and smell like roses. That's all folks, bye bye. Carbide, explosive gases, alkaline solutions, dust and metal. Do you work in hazardous environment? No, no doctor, what are you talking about?